Now, back in 2014, the Rebels made their trip to Omaha for the first time under head coach Mike Bianco. A local product was a part of that historic team. Former Ole Miss pitcher and Madison Central grad Josh Laxer was on the Rebels roster when they broke a 42-year-old drought when they made it to the College World Series eight years ago, a first under Bianco. This year's squad are the first to be in the national championship. Both teams had turning points in their seasons and have been in uncharted territory. Territory, Laxer says, they just need to keep things simple. I think this team, they have just been playing pitch by pitch every single game in the postseason. And so if they can keep that mentality and stay comfortable out there like they are and just lock in for every single pitch and not make the moment bigger than it actually is, they're going to keep keep doing like they have been doing all postseason. You work so hard in the offseason like I know they have, and um, you play so hard all, all year long and you give all your time and you, you just love seeing that seeing them there in that position because they deserve it. All right, the championship series starts tomorrow night. Now, here's the tale of the tape. Oklahoma has a 5-1 postseason record, and they're the last unbeaten team in Omaha. The Rebels are plus 30 on home runs over the Sooners. Ole Miss has a better overall team ERA, but both teams have allowed three total runs in their last two games. And here is the rotation for Ole Miss. Jack Daugherty will get the start for Game 1, and freshman lefty Hunter Elliott will start Game 2. Game one of the championship series is tomorrow night at 6 p.m. on ESPN. And the Rebels are hosting watch parties this weekend in Oxford. You can watch the games at Swayze Field. Gates open one hour before game times. It's free and open to the public. No concessions will be provided, so you're encouraged to bring your own food and drink out to Swayze. All right, that'll do for sports. We'll be back after this.